In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to generate mass distribution plots. I have a three-stage Fordox process open for biological phosphorus removal. The fundamental factor in design is the mass distribution of biomass in the anaerobic, anoxic, and aerobic zones. For example, the biological phosphorus removal process should be designed to ensure sufficient readily biodegradable COD concentrations and contact time in the anaerobic basin to allow for fermentative growth and phosphorus release. This often translates into an anaerobic mass fraction of at least 10%. Typical volume ratios in the anaerobic, anoxic, and aerobic zones are also presented in the design literature. Let's open the bio and album. This plot shows the process volume distribution in the aerobic, anoxic, and anaerobic basins. The album also contains plots that show the mass distribution in each reactor, including the secondary clarifier, and not including the secondary clarifier. In this system, the mass fractions correspond closely to the volume fractions. To add a mass distribution plot to the album, first let's add a new page. Go to the album menu and select Add Page. Let's name the page Mass Distribution. Click OK. Right click anywhere in the new blank page and select Chart from the pop up menu. From the resulting dialog box, click on the Special tab. In the left hand side, we are presented with a list of elements. This is where we are going to select which elements we want to include in our mass distribution plot. If we expand the bioreactor list by clicking on the plus button, we can add each bioreactor individually to the selected elements list by selecting a bioreactor and clicking the arrow button. Alternatively, since we want to include all of our bioreactors in the distribution plot, we can just click on bioreactor and then click the arrow to move all of the bioreactors in the list over to the selected elements list. Since there is also biomass present in the secondary clarifier, we should also include this mass fraction in our mass distribution plot. Let's click on the model clarifier and select the arrow to move the clarifier into the selected list. Click on the plot mass pie button to generate a mass distribution plot. Click close. We now have an unformatted mass distribution plot. We can add a title by double clicking on the existing title and changing the name to Mass Distribution. Click Close to exit the dialog. I'm going to hide the legend by double clicking on the current legend and unchecking the visible checkbox in the Style tab. Click Close to exit. Next, I want to change the appearance of the chart as well as the labels. Right click on the chart and select Edit Series. Click on the Series tab. In the Circle tab, we can check the Three Dimensions checkbox to make our chart 3D. Click on the Marks tab. In the Style tab, under the Style drop down menu, we can select the style of the labels. Right now, they're showing values only. Let's change them to show the label and percent so we can tell which pie slice represents which reactor. Plotting the mass distribution plot is also beneficial when trying to determine which elements to include for total mass in your SRT calculation. For example, lots of people forget to include the mass of solids in the clarifier as part of their SRT calculation when in some instances the mass in the clarifier can account for 20% of the total mass distribution and therefore represent a significant portion of biomass that should not be neglected. We can add a volume distribution plot following the exact same steps for the mass distribution plot. Add a new page to the album called Volume Distribution. Right click and select Chart. Choose a special tab. Add the bioreactors to the selected elements list. And this time we want to click the Plot Volume Pie button instead of the Plot Mass Pie button. Click Close to exit the dialog. Here is our volume distribution plot that we can edit in the exact same manner as the mass distribution plot. This concludes the tutorial on generating mass distribution charts. 
For more information on special charting in BioWin, please see the special chart formatting playlist in EnviroSim's video library. Please also review our other video tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.